Uh, welcome everybody. My name is Alexandra Borutska and on, on behalf of BCC I'd like to thank you for joining our online session. Today we will take a closer look at Price Analyzer, new capabilities of BCC pricing for profit. Our speaker today is Maciej Olechno. Before we start, two organiza organizational remarks. Firstly, please know that our webinar is recorded. The recording will be available on our YouTube channel if you need to come back to it later on. We will send you the link. Secondly, please feel free to ask questions. Just use the chat window on your right. Uh, we will collect the questions and answer all of them later via email. Uh, I see that uh, there are people among us who do not know our company yet. Let me briefly describe what we do at BCC. BCC's offering covers three areas. The first one refers to SAP services. We offer a full range of services needed to implement, maintain and develop our your SAP systems. Uh, BCC data centers make up the second area. We provide comprehensive IT infrastructure maintenance including outsourcing in our, our data centers and IT consulting. The third part of our offering is the BCC software factory. We create custom business software in any technology. Uh, we also offer a long-term uh, leasing of develop developers, specializing in Java, .NET and uh, among other areas. That would be all from me. I will now give the floor to Maciej. Good afternoon, my name is Maciej Lechno and I'm an SAP consultant for sales and distribution. I would like to talk about BCC pricing for profit, um, a tool, custom-made tool for planning and price management in SAP. So I would like to briefly um, describe what problems we might encounter, encounter in pricing in SAP. So we have um, we don't have a reliable way to 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 have a transaction price simulation or we don't have a tool for approval of price changes and we don't have a tool for mass price changes people who work on a daily basis with prices um, probably know that for sure uh, so how SAP users handle it at the moment? So currently users who use standard SAP solutions know how time consuming and non-transparent ch changing a price is. Any kind of preview or price change uh, operation we have to do within a single price condition, single key and within a predefined one date. Uh, while a single price change is still acceptable, for those of you who have an active pricing policy, both in terms of price review and price changes for the larger volume of data, so-called mass price changes, and various dates, they know that the work is cumbersome, non-transparent and far from ideal. Okay, so if you really want to collectively simulate using simulate the price using the SAP standard. Uh, basically the most effective and most widely used approach by customers and pricing extractors is a tool which either in an explicit way or in the background creates a sales order where we add materials numbers and at the position level of a given material we can verify what pricing conditions were calculated for a given material numbers as already mentioned, this simulation enables us to check the pricing conditions and prices only for the selected date. You can neither preview other dates in the subscreen nor in the item details even if, if we set different price determination date, whether the transaction price and pricing conditions will change or not. We also don't have the possibility to directly export um, the simulation to a file. And it should be emphasized that this is just a simulation and price changes should be done manually. So why choose us and, uh, us and our tool? Uh, so the solution is created, was created by basing on our own algorithm. Um, it has cooperation with SAP workflow in this version and um, 
It has a possibility to cooperate with external systems, to name a few of uh, the features of our product. So now I would like to briefly um, look at preview and structure of the tool. So um, in the diagram, I'd like to present how the BCC pricing for profit, P4P uh, in short, family currently looks like. So now the BCC pricing for profit consists of price extractor, marked in red here, and this is a module of comprehensive price review, pricing conditions, and transaction price simulation. And price analyzer, blue color, is a module for mass price changes. And the price extractor consists of the following function, pricing condition extractor and transaction price extractor. Um, and price analyzer consists, consists of following functions, pricing conditions manager, and transaction price manager currently mm, in development. So let's go over. Now I would like to go into a more detailed description of the uses of each module and the BCC pricing for profit. So price extractor module. Mm. There are two modules and the price extract the pricing conditions extractor serve for wide, widely under understood pricing conditions, customer prices and the discounts review. The main use is to review a wide range of conditions for the data set on the selection screen, such as the range of materials or advanced scenarios where the users can prepare previously collected sets of analyzed data. On the other hand, in the case of an extractor of a transaction price, the basic use is to simulate the transaction price for changes in component conditions over time. So you can build your own analysis scenarios based on a friendly and transparent configuration interface so that only the data that you expect at the time can be simulated. And price extractor's common feature is an expert to excel on many levels of work, uh, ALV transparent reporting system or cooperation with external system. So for whom um, is the pricing? condition extractor. Uh, it can serve customer service department, planning and analysis, and marketing and advertisement department. And transaction price extractor uh, can be used by customer service, planning and analysis, marketing and advertising, corporate strategic management, so for example auditors, financial audits or management, and also could be useful for controlling departments. So in the case of Price Analyzer, its application, uh, Pricing Condition Manager is designed to massively change the prices of a selected pricing condition for a large volume of data and, most importantly, for a range of dates for new prices. It features the, the ability to collaborate with SAP workflow as well as the ability to introduce multi-level approval schemes for changes um, in accordance with two-man rule. And working with price analyzer is based on the user-generated templates in Excel. And transaction price manager is used to change in pricing conditions with real-time transaction price simulation. Comparison of transaction price and pricing conditions before and after change, creation of own simulation scenarios and price expert to external systems. Okay, let's have a closer look at pricing for profit analyzer. So the two um, sub-modules are pricing conditions uh, manager. Uh, which serves for mass price change when price policy is known and for periodic price changes. Um, and transaction price manager uh, is used for price policy planning using price simulation with possible price changes. So we can simulate a scenario for, I don't know, for any area. For example, we want to give a 2% discount for Europe, but we don't know if it 
uh, it would be still profitable for our company and we can simulate such a scenario using transaction price manager. <coughs> so let's have a look at the pricing condition manager. Uh, so we can comfortably uh, manage prices through Excel spreadsheet. Uh, the program generates predefined tem templates with real data retrieved from the system based on the parameters entered on the selection screen. Uh, we have a clear verification of price changes. The users always see what they change, when the change is to be made and for which products. We have uh, full price control over um, full price control uh, basing on additional approval levels, approval workflow according to two-man rule, full and comprehensive price history, module for date range, specific user, additional conditions, for example, change um, for a particular product or service. So, um, if you have a look at the diagram above, you will see what the data flow looks like in the Pricing Conditions Manager. The first thing that comes to mind is cyclicity. It starts with export uh, of current prices uh, into external files such as Excel, and then a real copy of the actual data to the planned price data is made using Excel. Planned pricing approach allows you to work safely in the system without fear of loss or undesirable changes. The next stage is the verification of the conditions. The user has information about the previous price and the date of its validity. At this stage, you can introduce a new price both with a past date and the date of a change in the future. Another optional component is the term and rule approval workflow. This functionality will allow you to meet data security requirements and prevent from accidental changes in prices in your business. And once accepted, the planned and confirmed prices are transferred to the actual prices. Of course, here you have we have to mention that um, the program keeps a full history of price changes starting from the date to the um, users of each stage, also with pieces of information about the old and new prices. The cycle may end with the export of current prices for subsequent use. It is also worth mentioning that it is a coherent and complete process within a single tool and there is no concern about incomplete, uh, inconsistent or redundant data. So the pricing condition manager process run. Mm, the price change process, as I mentioned in the cycle of data circulation, starts by exporting price terms to an external file here. In the generated file, users outside of SAP make the appropriate changes. The file is loaded into SAP, um, into the so-called plant prices, and the plant prices are equivalent to real current prices and are used for mass updates. Mm, the plant prices updated with data from the Excel users prepared file are forwarded to the next step uh, of approval workflow. At this point, depending on whether you would like to use SAP workflow or not, the process branches out here and here. If we don't use SAP sub or SAP workflow, we must confirm the willingness to change the price by those who qualify for such an operation. So users with uh, appropriate authorization and by means of internal acceptance tool and forward them to the update stage. Of course, we should mention that at this stage we can also introduce the two-man rule. If, however, we have the opportunity and willingness to use SAP workflow as, as it is recommended by us, 
by BCC, it is possible to construct and adapt the acceptance flow consistent with the needs and security policy of your company. It is important, however, that regardless of which method we use, the confirmed prices finally reach the stage of updating the conditions. And at this stage, prices are updated. That is, plant prices are transferred to real prices with a clear, clear emphasis that only prices previously conferred will be changed. The update can be automatically triggered, for example, by the last step of the workflow, either explicitly by clicking a button or as a scheduled batch job, for example. The system log is created from the whole process and a log of price changes ready for preview at all times in an accessible manner. Um, now I would like to present to you how the system looks on the user's side and see and present an example of price change. So the first element is the selection screen here. Uh, on the selection screen we can choose the input parameters or conditions and the access key. We then generate an Excel template as a second step with the current price condition values for all key elements. Um, it is worth mentioning at this stage that this is the so-called zero stage, which can be also treated as a tool to quickly generate all the prices of a given condition. Um, so it's a sort of data preparation, let's call it so. Of course, we can prepare multiple Excel files for different price conditions, such as a separate file with basic prices, separate with discounts, and transfer to prepare proposals for changes to the responsible person in the company. In the Excel file, we make the appropriate changes to prices and their validity dates. So the first proper step is to create a run that is translating it into a functional outline, a price change scenario. We have prepared um, an Excel file with suggested price changes for the scenario. Um, proposals are saved in the so-called plant prices I mentioned earlier and stored for each run separately. It is also worth mentioning that plant prices will only be created for those items that are changed in Excel. There's no fear of data redundancy. Mm, we can create as many scenarios as we need and what's more, each scenario can be based on the same pricing condition. Um, a practical example, uh, when you prepare several versions of price changes and pass them one at a time to the person responsible for approval, uh, if you want to use SAP SAP workflow as an acceptance step, this is where work, workflow initiation, of course, fully customizable, takes place. So we create data and we upload data from the Excel file and we initiate workflow if you want to. Um, so, uh, stage two, let me discuss it in an extended version using SAP workflow. So, BCC pricing for profit offers a wide range of configurable multi-level approval capabilities tailored to your needs and pricing policy. We may base ourselves on one level approval, multi-level appro approval, and we may include the two-man rule. The pricing manager takes full advantage of the SAP workflow tools to notify you about price changes or approval levels, as seen here. Uh, the user receives a notification in the business workplace of the appropriate type so that he or she is always up to date with the state of the price chase, uh, change scenario or upcoming price changes. The advantages of our solution is, to, um, is that um, users see price acceptance details directly from uh, SAP workflow 
uh, workplace. There is no need to look in, into additional systems, launch separate transactions. Uh, that means that it greatly speeds up and simplifies work. When you see the details of the price change proposal, the user responsible for the acceptance, for the approval, in a clear and accessible manner, in a form of ALV grid, as seen on the screenshot, receives information about the price proposals to be confirmed. So we see here the current value from the system, the proposed value, and the proposed validity date. For example, in the case of uh, this condition record it is valid, should be valid from 20th January 2017. So in addition to the standard information about the data key that is in the price and condition sections, the material date of the current validity, the date of the last change, the user accepts immediately available information about the plant date and value of the change and the user who made the proposed changes. Um, that is the person who prepared the scenario. From this level, the acceptor can decide whether he wants to confirm or reject the proposal to change prices. Of course, it can accept selective, for example, uh, only a few materials. It is worth mentioning that the graphical interface used in the acceptance panel gives the user full ability to filter and export external files or overlay display. In short, this is the full functionality of the ALV grid. If the scenario is rejected, the corresponding information is logged in the system logs and the scenario ends, process ends here. So if at least one of the prizes are confirmed by the user, the system passes the scenario to the next step. This may be the next step of approval or already the final update step. So the last step in the price change process, if you have accepted at least one of the prices, is a price update. Price update can be defined as one of the last workflow items, or it can be called manually from the BCC Pricing for Profit Price Analyzer panel. A wide range of process configurations allow, uh, allows you to schedule updates of, as bad jobs. Well, the system will review the accepted scenarios and attempt to update the prices in the time intervals agreed with the customer. The price update itself, as I mentioned, is a move of price of plant prices in the scenario of change, that is, to the actual price. Of course, in the case of manual updates or with workflow, remember to accept the actual and the desired order of change. As with every price analyzer session here, individual price changes are logged both from the technical side and the process side. Okay, let's have a look at logs. Um, the BCC Pricing for Profit price analyzer provides a comprehensive and advanced tool for reporting changes. As mentioned earlier, logs of changes are recorded in technical terms and in process terms. By running the change reporting function, we choose what kind of logs we want to view and the date range. We can view the logs in terms of specific price change scenarios and in the case of process logs, we also get a tool to add um, our own special conditions such as the selected user's material, final user, etc. In the case of process logs, the layout corresponds to the approval panel. So we have a friendly graphical form available along with the standard ALV grid functions. We can functionally receive information about users changing and accepting prices, reviewing a particular scenario or looking at how the price of a material changed, for example, over the last year.
So we have also the technical log I mentioned earlier. So the log is based on standard SAP BAL log functionality. Um, there is in, in the pieces of information about the correctness or possible errors of each step of the process. We have the ability to analyze users at every stage of the process, and we have details preview. Where in the details, there are number of exported positions, number of uploaded positions, positions with change prices in our local Excel file, number of accepted and rejected positions in selected approval steps, and price change analysis for selected solutions. I uh, would like to briefly present the sub-module uh, in development at the moment, Transaction Price Manager Roadmap. So the features are um, we'll have comfortable transaction price management and transparent ALV grid format. Include lower, lower level terms that affect the transaction price. We can change prices on price list level. We have clear verification of price changes, comparison of old and new prices. We have full control over price change and full history of price changes. So as in the case of pricing managers, here we work with the system will be based on runs and will have its own cyclicality. The process starts with the preparation of the price conditions we want to change with additional information that transferred for. Working with the transaction price manager will take place directly in the SAP environment using the editable ALV grid. And at the price planning stage, real-time conversion and simulated transaction price will be calculated. Of course, it is worth mentioning that price changes, as in the case of pricing managers, will be based on planned prices. We can talk about the simulation of planned price changes as well. The common feature is the ability to associate the transaction price manager with the approval module, either through approval by the PCC pricing for profit panel or via the workflow uh, rules similar to the previous one. And the process ends with an update of the relevant pricing conditions. Okay, by analogy with the pricing manager, we will make selections in the base price, additional terms or price change dates in the selection screen. And the process will also be based on scenarios. Okay, so transaction price manager, what will the functionality of the module look like? In the selection screen, we selected the PR00 price and client material access key. In the case of the test, we will take four products. We also limited them on the selection screen. And after selecting the base price and the access sequence, the system in state one will select all items from the access table. Example, table on the left side of the screen. Then in the second step, other pricing conditions such as rebates. In this example, this is the rebate R100. That are on the same access key will be searched for and presented. And at this stage, the system will cal cal calculate the transaction price in real time. So in case of product one, we have a condition value 1350 and a, a rebate Mm, of two, so the transaction price calculated in real time is 1150. Mm, so we can uh, make the appropriate changes, for example, price change, uh, and we can make changes. So we can instead of 1350 have 13 here and the system will calculate the transaction price in real time. Okay, and in the step three, the system will check whether the material in, in other access sequences contains values and columns uh, that are to be presented in the results table. 
And the basic difference will be that mm, the changes will only be possible within the selected access and the selection screen. While I, all conditions from more general accesses will only be displayed and will affect the price calculation. Uh, so the program will simulate pricing in this way. And the program will therefore work so that the values and conditions of the higher access will only be retrieved for those records for which it did not find the value in the initial access selected. Thus, it is not possible to overwrite the data. It is important that the data from the more detailed records will only be informative. We'll be able to change within the selected access keys. And such simulations can be exported to Excel or HTML, standard LAV grid functionality. And upon approval of the price simulation and all change conditions, the system may pass, pass data for additional verification. Workflow or terminal will transfer the data to the upgrade stage. The update stage, as with the pricing manager, we will be able to accept manually using batch jobs or as an element of the workflow. However, what is important to emphasize approval on the exit positions that are related to the access key chosen on the select on the selection screen. Okay, that will be all for today. So thank you for your attention. And in case of any questions, please refer to the telephone number or email address on the screen. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.